Always wanted to make your own t-shirt design, but lacked the courage since you didn't actually have the required tools nor skills to start designing one. Well, all of that changes today since I'm going to show you how you can easily design your own t-shirt using Playset's online t-shirt design maker. I'm Andrew and you're watching an Envato Toss Plus tutorial. We're going to start by heading over to the Playset website. We will want to take the time and set up a new account since we're going to need it later on in order to download the final design. Once you're ready, we can access the tool by heading over to Designs and then clicking on T-Shirt Design Templates, which should be the first option found within the horizontal drop-down list. As soon as the page loads, we'll be able to scroll through all the available T-Shirt Design Templates, which we can filter using the left side of the Tags menu. In order to save some time, I already went ahead and picked up this design that I really liked, which we're going to be adjusting in the following moments. No matter what template we end up using, the editing layer will mostly be the same. On the left side we'll have all our text related options, while on the right one we'll find all the background and shape related ones. To change any of the default text, all we have to do is click on its corresponding input box and then override the preview one with our own. We can adjust any given text segment by changing its font and even its color using the underlying drop down lists. When it comes to colors, we can either go with one of the predefined values, or we can click on more and define a custom one of our own. If we need to, we can actually hide any text segment by clicking on the little checkbox found in front of it. Once we've finished adjusting our text, we can move on to the right side of the page, where we'll start working on the actual design. The first option that we'll see is background, which as the name suggests, allows us to adjust the color used for the design's background. Since I'm aiming for a clean design, I'm going to go with a completely transparent background, which will blend better when used in combination with the colored fabric. We then have main graphic, which allows us to adjust the color and symbol used for the main visual element. Finally, we have flag, which as the name suggests, allows us to choose a different theme for our horizontal stripes or even remove them completely by clicking on the No Image button. For the current example, I'm going to stick to the default flag since I really like how it looks. Since the template supports interactive editing, we can easily adjust the position of its composing elements by first selecting them in order to bring up their bounding box and then simply clicking and dragging them into the desired direction. We can also resize them by hovering over their bounding box's corners and then clicking and dragging them either outwards or inwards depending on what we're trying to achieve. If for some reason we aren't happy with the adjusted layout, we can easily undo all the changes by using the Reset Layout button. Once we've finished customizing the template, we can go ahead and download the resulting design by simply clicking on the Download button which will charge us a small fee every time we use it. Now that we've downloaded the custom created design, we might be curious to see how it would look like on an actual t-shirt. Well, if we scroll down to the bottom of the page, we'll quickly see that Playset gives us the ability to do so using its custom clothing mockups, which will give us a quick preview of our current design. If we want to explore the entire range of available t-shirt mockups, we can head over to the T-Shirt Mockup Generator page where we can upload our design and get a quick preview of how it would look like when applied to all the different mockups. Once we've found the design that we like, we can click on it in order to further customize it and then go through the exact same process of acquiring it. That being said, I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.